What differentiates living organic soil from, you know, other soil that you might pick up in the garden center or whatever? Perfect reference. I think that the living organic soil style can be done on your native soil. But typically, when we're referring to living organic soil, it's because we're trying to differentiate ourselves. Um, that term came out of, in the beginning, the discussions were, well, how do you grow? And it's like two paragraphs of bleh. It eventually became living organic soil. So we could just reference, oh, you're one of those guys that does this stuff with rock dust and worm gastings. And, you know, so the difference is when you buy a potting soil that is at the big box store, we just did a study. We're about to drop a video. We did soil testing at the lab on 10 or 11 different soils. Much of what we saw was a lower cation exchange capacity because real soil has minerals that adsorb and hold nutrients like a magnet. And there's this give and take where most potting soil, it's like what's in there can just kind of get left out. And that's about all there is. And you have to start adding. So these potting soils are peat moss and perlite or cocoa core and some usually waste stream. For instance, in the Pacific Northwest, a lot of um, like blackberry patches and tons of overgrowth needs to get just ground up and made into compost to do city cleanup. A lot of that ends up into these big potting soil companies. And that's their compost additive because it's cheaper than peat moss, cocoa. It's trash, basically, which could be utilized well. Um, but that's why some of them stab you when you put your hands in there. Sometimes the bark they use. But essentially, they're trying to make a medium that will hold the plants and ship it in the lightest weight form possible for the freight. Where ours was not engineered, we were not smart enough yet to figure out, like, this should be a profitable. Like, how do we ship it? And we're just like, let's make this on a... And, and send it through Instagram or something, you know? We had people drive into my house their pickup truck and we get like trash bags full in the beginning. But that big difference across the board, what we agreed was a big portion of the potting soil shall be compost, premium compost, so that it's more like your garden soil and it makes it heavy. Unfortunately, 30, 40, you know, 30, 35 pounds a cubic yard before it's soaking wet. And that's hard to carry two cubic foot bag would be 70 pounds. I mean, too much for the garden center. So um, long story short, that's, that's why you don't see it everywhere. But